What's good everyone, NB Astro here yet with another motor review video. So here in front of me guys, I have a brand new motor here into the market. This is also a very, very fresh new company uh, known by Flywoo. They were nice enough to send me not only some motors, but some fly controllers as well. I will be reviewing those here in a later video, so be sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump in to the motor review video. So let's do that thing. So here we zoom in, this is the 2207-1750KV of the Flywoo NIN motor. I don't know if you say NIN or N-I-N, but that is the name of the motor right there. So this is the 2207-1750 and of course the titanium, it does come in three different colors. They have the titanium, a silver, which is almost like the titanium color, but it is a little bit more lighter. And then of course they have a really nice gold color. I'll go ahead and put some more screenshots and pictures of the motors up on the screen for you guys. That way you guys can see. But uh, let's go ahead and unbox these motors and see what they come with. This here is the NIN motor here. This specifically is the 2207-1750KV like we just saw on the box. And it is the titanium color. So if you order one motor, you will only get one motor in the box with the prop nut and screws. But if you order a, if you order two or let's say you the order is like for six motors, you of course get the pair in the box just according to how many you order so let's go ahead and take this bad boy out so that's that one right there and then let's take out the prop nuts and uh screws there so let's put this aside and talk a little bit more about the motor itself all righty guys so this right here is the beautiful motor by Fly Woo. Like I said, they are an upcoming company here. They sent me these motors. They wanted me to review them. They hooked both Seth Hendo and I up. Uh, personally, I ended up keeping the 2207s, uh, the titanium color. Uh, I gave Seth Hendo the gold color, which is actually a very, very nice looking color there. And those are 2306. So the company does offer a 2207 and a 2306 size motor there. And then they offer it in three different KVs. They have a 1750 KV, a 2450 KV, and for those people that like a really high KV, they offer a 2750 KV there. And in the box, you get the motor, of course, and then you get a nice little baggie that has its screws and the prop nut. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the design first before, before we get more in depth with the specs of the motor. So. First off, the aesthetics of the motor, I gotta say, this is probably the best motor I've ever laid hands on. Like, uh, I, I've seen other motors on online, but I haven't really had them in hand, but this is probably the best looking motor I have seen and I have touched. I gotta say, Flywoo, the people at Flywoo there had really uh, took their time to really get a nice looking quality motor. Like, cause we, if, you, if we look down here, uh, you can see the coils. It is a single stranded copper winding there. Uh, the mounting holes here at the bottom are 16 by 16. You have a two millimeter screw there to take off the bell if you do end up on a crash or anything like that. And then we come up here and we almost have like a triangular hexagonal shape here at the top which makes it look very very nice and unique and then we have that nice unique shape that i think a lot of motor companies are going to start picking up there uh just very similar to the z motor where they have that uh almost like a spin top looking thing that they have a very smooth bell shape and uh, also i believe the carrera motors there and a lot of you guys are probably going to say that these motors look very very similar to those carrera i'm, I'm not sure if i'm pronouncing them right you guys are probably going to say that it looks very, very similar, and I would probably agree as well, uh, especially since they do have that electroplating going on there, which makes them a little bit shiny there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get more of the specs of this motor here, and let's go ahead and start it off with the weight of the motor. So uh, on the website, as far as the 2207, they do claim that the motor weighs 33.5 grams. They don't specify whether that's with, with the wire or not, but we're going to find that out right now. And with the wire and the prop nut and everything, it is weighing in at 37.7 grams, which it is a little bit on the heavy side. But uh, as far as what th what they have on the website weighing 33.5 grams, I'm guessing that is without the wire. Because uh, the wire that it does come with is 150 millimeters in length. And they do have 18 gauge wire. It is a little bit more thicker than what most motors come with. Uh, the F60s. The Pro V2s and the 3s, they actually uh, come with the 20 gauge wire and uh, T-Motor actually actually kind of told T-Motor about that because with the F40 Pro V1s, they had the 20, uh, I'm sorry, the 18 gauge wire which was a lot thicker and a lot heavier and 
those motors just didn't really need a thicker gauge wire so they went down to 20 and I think this is something that Flywood could possibly do for their second version of the motor is bring down the gauge wiring that way it does drop in weight whenever you do have wire there for like a 4 in 1 ESC or maybe like a 6 inch prop or something like that. Move on to the price. The price for this motor here is very very nice in my opinion. It's looking at $21.99 and the reason I say that's a really good price motor is because the quality of the motor it feels really good. I mean you're getting a really good aesthetic looking uh, motor the quality like I said it looks very very good the single winding uh, down there you have the magnets there you have a 60 by 60 removable base it's very very nice looking motor $21.99 and when you compare it to other motors such as like the T motors that are $26.99 this was probably be a really good uh, looking motor but as far as performing like I said set handle and I will be doing a separate video here uh, later on where we're gonna be gathering some numbers on the drag race test that way you guys can see basically where these motors sit as far as the overall performance of the motor but moving on let's go ahead and talk about the color the color here of this motor is one of the things that makes it nice and unique uh, I have seen this in other uh, other companies that do have the nice shiny color and specifically they call that the electro plating and this is basically what makes it shiny they do have three colors to offer they have this nice titanium color which is a little bit more darker than the other silver color that they have to offer and then they also have to offer a nice metallic gold which that one absolutely looks amazing and like I said I gave those motors to set handle so he could put them on his quad and he may actually be doing a review video on his channel so go be sure to go to his channel subscribe and be on the lookout for that video if he does come out with it and then as far as the design the design does add heat dissipation and that's probably why a lot of these companies may be switching over to this different design like for example t-motor uh as their heat dissipation th throughout the coating that they have on the windings so maybe with a nice bell shape that t-motor does like this it may help but as far as uh the bell shape they do claim that it does help with some of that heat dissipation and moving over to the materials of the motor they uh, use the titanium alloy shafts 7075 aluminum there which is similar to what the t-motor does have and then as you can see these are also these are also uh, hollow shafts you can't see through it due to the fact that we have that screw but they are also a hollow shaft therefore increasing the durability of the shaft there and avoiding any at least we hope that we avoid shafts breaking in half all right and as we move down here to the bottom we could go ahead and see that motor pattern that i mentioned here before uh, this is a 16 by 16 motor pattern with the 2.0 millimeter screw there at the bottom i think earlier in the video i did say it was a 1.5 but i made a mistake it is a 2.0 so you will need like a 2.0 to remove that screw there which i'll be doing here in a little bit but uh speaking about the bottom of the motor you could also see the single stranded copper windings there and then we could also see the N52H arc magnets that they also use on this motor. And then let's go ahead and remove this base and take a little closer look at the bell design and the actual bearings that they use. Because the bearings are a little bit different than what I've uh, seen on other motors. Well, I fly a lot of T motors, so usually the bearings that I do see are the EZO bearings. But these are specifically the NSK Japanese bearings. And let's go ahead and take a closer look there. And there we go. We could go ahead and see those NSK Japanese bearings. And you could also go ahead and take a look at the quality of this motor. The overall quality is really, really good. And at a price tag of $21.99, in my opinion, I think is a really, really nice looking motor. And then not to speak about the aesthetics look of the motor. They look very, very nice. And then if we take a look at the bell, we'll go ahead and see the bell design. We can see those N52H magnets. You could also go ahead and see that it does have that small little lip there hanging over the magnets. That way it prevents them from slipping uh, possibly if the motor heats up or it takes a nice little hit somewhere or anything like that. That little lip should prevent those magnets from sliding off. And then now that the screw is off from the base, we could go ahead and see that this is a hollow shaft. And like I said, it is a titanium alloy shaft, 7075 aluminum there. And let's go ahead and put this bad boy back on. And uh, last, last but not least, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put some more info on the screen for you guys. Basically what I just went over or if I miss anything, you guys could just catch up and see right there for yourselves. And then I'm going to end the video off by saying uh, that... Don't forget to go subscribe to said Hendo because he may be reviewing the 2306 size motor of this uh, of this specific flywheel motor. Those are the, gonna be the uh, the gold motors because they did come in gold. And then I'm gonna end the video with 
the flight footage of this specific 2207 motor and then later on like i said on a part two video we're going to be doing the results of the drag race test for the nin 2207 and 2306 size motor but with that guys uh hope you guys enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe and hope you guys enjoy this flight footage peace out Broken arm, that's it.